Our sex life consisted of me begging for it and Gretchen saying, maybe tomorrow. I know exactly what I need. Every fiber of my being is crying out for it. It is simply not possible that you're begging me for sex right now because that hasn't happened in years. No, it's not that. It's a two week yoga and wellness retreat in Arizona. Look, when I come back, I will be feeling as fresh as a daisy. And how much will this cost me? And how much will this cost me? Wow, you're pissing me off so bad lately. I don't even think I want to have sex with you in the first place. Oh, how I cherish your brutal honesty. Why is it that all we ever do is fight about sex and money? Because you're never in the mood and you expect me to pay for everything. I'm tired from standing all day. Well, I appreciate that you're bartending, but ever since you started, it's made us both a little extra miserable. Well, maybe I should switch to part-time. That would free me up for auditions. <laughs> I don't get it. One month you're an actress, the next month you're a dancer, then you're a floral designer. I am a visual artist. That's what you found so alluring about me when we first met. You said I was mysterious. That's because I had a split second to conjure up some classy pickup line because you were the prettiest girl I'd ever seen. And you were the hottest guy I'd ever met. I didn't care that my sorority sisters were calling you a cradle robber. They were just jealous. You were a hell of a lot more fun back then. You were forever thinking of me as the 24-year-old blushing bride as if I'm frozen in time. You're frozen, all right. You're the fucking ice queen. Why do you want to make love to me if you hate me so much? I never said I hated you. I said I was pissed. I just, I'm frustrated. You're always saying mean things to me. How do you think that makes me feel? It's the only way to get through to you. I, I feel like you're a million miles away. I'm not feeling connected either, but here we are swimming around this fishbowl trying to avoid each other. This is not what I would call healthy. Oh, and meditating in the desert is just gonna cure all of this? I have never felt so enlightened. They taught me how to breathe properly and how to detach myself from all physical cravings. They brainwashed you into not wanting sex. That's wonderful. We would have tea at sundown and some of the girls may have told me a thing or two about tantric technique. One of the girls said it saved her marriage. If we were gonna try that, we'd have to skip a few steps. We haven't had sex in 42 days. See, I am talking about us reconnecting on a deep spiritual level and you are pulling out a spreadsheet from your sex journal. So I can mark it down in the journal. What's the reason you're not in the mood tonight? I'm tired and drunk assholes from the bar are filling me with anxiety again. I guess we'll just ship her off to Arizona. What's the matter tonight? Your chakra is feeling out of balance? Why do you keep poking fun at Tantra? I've heard the orgasm is mind-blowing. And you're not gonna make me wait 30 to 60 days to find out. Thank you.